Hello, and welcome back to some more Spiritfall. I'm here with the bow, the new weapon that I wasn't able to use in the demo, here to see how we go with some ranged combat. Before I continue, another massive thank you to everyone at Spiritfall for giving me an early release copy of the game so that I can get some videos out to you and show you what you can uh, look forward to. If you're interested in picking up some Spiritfall, it releases officially on the 3rd of April. Be sure to jump on. Now, the bow is, from what I can see, pretty damn interesting. This attack right here, just his neutral attack, has a piercing effect on it. And I mean, the forward one also pierces. Like, I'm glad that the bow doesn't have that restriction where it only hits one dude at a time. But considering it's a ranged attack, could be really, really nice, to be honest. Um, the forward attacks is a, is a three-hit combo that ends with a launch on himself. His up attack seems to just be a snipe in the air. It's a really good angle too, I like that. And then the down attack is actually a melee one. It's this like little stompy stomp, which seems like it leads very nicely into his uh, up air. Little natural combo right there. Launch. If you tap the launch, it only goes like very shallow distance, not very fast projectile. If you full charge it and then you send it, it gets much faster and goes further. And just as you can see, it kind of bullies dudes across the screen. Very nice. The up launcher shoots exactly straight up and the down launcher shoots exactly straight down. However, a detail that they don't mention to you in the training area is that you can in fact fire diagonally, which is way more useful than you think it might be. Air neutral, it's just a, it's the same as his standing neutral, just a, a jump version of it. But it's his jump side attack that I was messing around with earlier. This looks like it's gonna be a problem, dude. Like, it's a grab, it's a hit grab. And you can do stuff like that. You can juggle this so easily. Look at that, it's, it's insane. His up air attack is a rising tackle. I was making jokes in the last video about how the devs might be fans of fighting games in general because of the dulcim stuff on the fists. This is the rising tackle. I'm, I'm convinced that they are most definitely fighting game fans. His uh, jumping down is a, an angled diagonal shot. Very, very cool. Um, dash bolt and dropping around. We know how those work. Let's get into the run and actually go out here and see how the bow is going to do. Fire the big launchies first. Oh my goodness. Well, those guys existed. Ooh. Ooh, I get Yamfus at the start. Wait, I do get these... Co okay, cool. Last time, I made a mistake of saying that I didn't think Yamfus actually got, like, a special effect to him. But he does. He does. It's just because I'd, fi I'd filled in all of my, my main abilities at the bottom that I didn't get any of these ones offered to me. So... I might do a Yamfus run with the bow. Drenched, I've never seen this. Targets receive 5% stun duration and wall splat damage per stack. So extra stun duration and extra wall splat damage. Considering that I can bounce dudes around with my, my launcher attacks, might be kind of nice. The dousing bolt, drenched. Inflicts drenched for five seconds. Conjures three projectiles. Mmm. Okay, so... Oh, what one am I going to start with? I want one of these. You know, launcher damage going up by 45%. Pretty nice. But I'm really curious what the water bolt is. Ooh, splishy splashy. Okay, I like it. I like it. Um, I want to take left because I want to go and get some more of his upgrades. So let's go and get this max life increase. No. Oh, dude, that that's... All right, first thing I'm noticing, the, um, the standard stand still and shoot actually doesn't stagger. Like, even the rats don't stagger. Look at that. So it is to be used, I guess, with a little bit of... Like, use at your own discretion. Oh, dude, look at the combo. Look, you can you can loop it. You can loop it. Uh, let me get the esoteric scroll. I want to get as many scrolls as possible to get the upgrades um, that scroll man gives me. Yamphus. And I'll worry about weapon scrolls probably later on. Splash. Splash. That reaches? Okay, dude, that's pretty sick. That's amazing. All right, all right. Bubble shield, this is my assist. Hold the trigger to create a defensive bubble. After absorbing a hit, the bubble will burst, inflicting drench for five seconds and dealing damage. Cooldown five seconds. 
Wait, so you can just hold the shield and when they when they hit me it Dude, give me that. What? How long can I hold this for? What the Wait, I can just And there's no cooldown unless I get hit. What? Dude, that's busted. There's no way. There's no way. Let me get some more life. Let me get some more life. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Bro! It's a parry! I've got my parry! I'm so happy I've got my parry. Rising tackle. Get some of that, India. I don't believe it. It's got such a short cooldown, too. Dude, that's, that's wild! <laughs> it's a parry! Oh, wow, 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 wow. All right, I've got 160 dust. It's not enough to buy anything, and I want to get the yam for stuff, so I'm not actually going to go to the shop. I might get some max life, grab the gem, go left and get some more yemi, get Shabra the deer, and then, oh, I see my geode thing over here. Hello? Dude. There's no way. There's no way. That guy was having a ride, dude. I can just sit here and do this. Okay, I can't do it to my Geo down here. Okay, I can't. Okay, Geo, the hardest thing in the world to hit. Hang on. Smash it with my foot. Bam, smash it with my foot. There we go. Two of them in one room, though. Um, we go left. We get the Luminous Gem. Might just upgrade my, my bubble counter at this rate. Who knows? Do it. Dude, and I have, like, like limited invincibility after I do it, too. Look, I can just do this. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get splashed. Jump up. Jump up. You won't. Jump up. He can't. He's stuck. No, no, he's not stuck. He's, he's trolling me. Dude, I can just sit... Really? Really? Crazy. I'm actually, like, blown away at this. Whoa! Whoa! How many of those can he shoot? What? Okay, I've been greatly downplaying the the down jumping attack. He can he can multi fire this and and travel with it, so he could do like two or three and then end on a grab. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, I can only upgrade my bolt. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, so the bolt gets upgraded to be stronger. That's fine. Do it. You'd be foolish to do it. All right, this this fly. This fly has to die. Ranged enemies I'm discovering in the game are my, my Achilles heel, right? They're the problem. Bit of rising taco. Why not? Nope. Oh, look, a fly. Quick, kill the fly. Yoink. Idiot. Get what you deserve. Get bumped into the wall, idiot. Get what you deserve. Uh, I need more embers. More embers for the passives. Give me my yemi. I don't have a uh, launcher or basic upgraded yet. Wall splash. Emmys take more wall splat damage. Uh, yeah, but let's get the launcher upgraded first. I need my basic hits to be to be boosted. If I can get basic attack from the next one up here before the first boss, that would be pretty helpful to me. Oh. Indeed. He jumped right into it. What a buffoon! Rising tackle. Look at this! 
Oh, you bastard. Do it. Moron. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep grabbing you, dude. Look at you. Thinking I won't do it. I don't understand why I'm allowed to have this. It's it's very, very good. And it, it like, I don't... What did I do to deserve having something like this powerful? Splash. Get wet. Splash. I can't believe I've got the splashy, splashy build going on. Uh, now, Shabra. I think this is your guy's first time seeing Shabra in the videos. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful design. One of my favorites, to be honest. It's it's just so good. I'm not going to take Adamant Attack. Now, Shabra's entire deal is poise. Um, you take less damage and will not be interrupted in your actions. This is really good, for, like in my opinion, for the hammer, but does just work very well for everyone in general. I think Shabra has the highest damage scaling just for raw boosts because... Because it's a very defensive focus thing, it'd be very easy for it to be kind of weak in terms of doing damage. So I think part of the benefit is, for example, comparing it to the Phoenix. Um, the Phoenix gives you less raw boost, but because you get the burn effect over time, it compensates. Shabra, you just get huge oomph. It's just big hits. Um, at least from what I'm noticing, I've noticed that the 45% to basic attack, the adamant attack here, I think all the other ones are about 30%. I think. I could be wrong, though. Whenever you recover life, gain bonus damage until you get hit. I'm gonna get hit. All healing sources are if, uh, more effective and gain 10 max life. 25% better heals. Dude, why not? That's that's a great passive. Give me that. Yammy! Alright, get up here, you lot. Let me, let me splash. I tried. I tried. I was, I was gonna attack. This grasshopper hits very fast. Yeah, alright. Suffer. No. There you go, get some of that. No. Ah. Get parried. It's so weird because it's just, it's a giant shield block. That just works, you know? Look at that, it just works. And it probably shouldn't work that well. Like, it's it's so good. Like, I, when I say it shouldn't work that well, I don't mean change it. I just mean, holy damn, why does it work so well? Dude, the water splash. Man. Okay, there's Jaws. We saw Jaws last. Dousing attack. There we go. It's probably what I'm going to take, but I want to read Corrosion first. Enemies take bonus shield damage based on the amount of drench stacked on them. Oh, that's really strong, too. Ah, oh, we'll go Dousing attack, though. Attacks deal more da wait, 40%? Well, it's rare. To be fair, it's rare. I'm thinking, like, base rarity, but this is this is a higher rarity. Um, and we get to apply Drench for four seconds. Very good, very good. All right, we have everything but the dash is currently Wet and Wild style. Might get some Shabra here. Do I bother with the heal? I've got the money for it. I should. I, sh I really should. Let's get some Shabs going. Ooh, the Impervious Dash. Right, so... Hades boys out there will understand this. It's not quite as busted as Athena shield, but this is the same same kind of idea. It's it's the shielding dash. Uh, your dash deals damage to enemies, destroys most projectiles, and you're invincible for a little bit longer. It's a very good effect to be honest, but I am like I am stupidly curious what the water shield is going to be like, so I don't want to take this just yet. You deal more damage to enemies the further away they are. I think we know what the right choice here is, yeah. I could take the blessing of the wolfy boy, but I'm actually not going to and save my dust so I can afford some uh, some stuff next time instead. First boss again. It seems we're clear enough last time. This is the end of the road for you. Really? Dude, she's so dangerous. Have this. Yo! Okay, I'd be lying if I said I forgot that she has... Oh, she turns around so fast. No. Mm. 
Не. Shield that. Whoa. Oh my god, dashing through that? You can't. Don't dash through that. She will just turn around immediately and hit you with that. Try me. Oh, wrong. Ah. Dude, she's terrifying. There, have that. Get splashed. Oh my god. She's I I honestly think she might be the hardest boss, dude. The first the first boss, I think she's actually the toughest for me. Like she is so all over the screen on me. She she's on me every chance she gets. Heal up. All right. The shrine keeper. Yet again, the old flame hungers. Incinerate essence. Be rewarded. Thank you, my lady. Thank you. Thank you. Uh quick draw. Your launcher charges faster. Very nice. Split shot. When you hit your launcher's projectile with an attack, it splits into two and gains what? I might try and grab this next time, but for now, I really want quick draw. That's that's going to synergize really well with being able to um to rapid fire these these shots like that. Um, I also realized I I didn't show you guys the wave dashing, and considering I'm doing a water boy build, there we go. So you do it by by dashing low to the ground. You have to jump and then hit dash, but it's it's done, you know. You're more or less plinking it. You're, you're hitting jump and dash within like 0.2 of a second of each other. You're more or less hitting them at the same time. And the gimmick with this is that you get a faster cooldown on your dash, right? So if I were to dash around like this normally, you just get this. Now remember, this is an upgrade that you get from the Emphis tree. You have to actually unlock this. We did it in the last video, but I haven't been doing it. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what it is. I'm not anywhere near adept enough. Oh, here we go. Thank you. To be able to do this uh, reliably, consistently, can, like like in the middle of actual fights and stuff, but it exists, right? Get splashed. There you go, buddy. Die. Try me. Fools. Fools. Foolish monkey. Foolish monkey. My god, dude. It's so... Dude, I am still kind of impressed at how fun the combos and the combat really gets when you start throwing it all together. There's the dousing dash. Your down and up attack do more damage. That's pretty not... Dude. Down attack and up attack? Mm. But the dousing dash... Unleashes a water explosion that damages nearby enemies and inflicts drenched. Give me this. Give me this. Oh, it's okay. So it's positional based on where I am. That's fine. That's good. I like it. I like it. All right. Map things out. What do we want to do? I might grab two relics, two life ups, and then just go straight up for Yamphis again. Because I could go to the right, but there's no real point. Let me get. Let me get some relics in the build. I haven't got any relics yet. Yeah, try me. I saw you. I saw you sizing me up right there. Get wet and wild out here. I'm in bubble mode. Bubble body beeler returns, dude. Whoa. Bruh. Try me. Try me. What'll you do, huh? Get wet. Oh, you're stunned? That's a shame. That's a shame. What is it? What, what was that? I'm being toxic? Damn right I'm being toxic to this guy. <laughs> you're damn right I'm being toxic to this guy. I'm just showing you that this is silly. And, and really good fun. <laughs> Let me get this really. Uh, the dagger of swift punishment. Oh, I like it. Enemies you slay in under five seconds reward more dust and essence, more bolt damage. Cool. Enemies you slay in under five seconds, so from hitting them, so kill them really quickly from the first point you hit them, I guess. Um. So would he give me more dust than- Ow! Son.
splash. Hit me, I dare you. Haha, -ha, you're a fool. Oh my dude. Come here. No, no, I. I'm trying to catch you with the rising taco into down air. There we go. Suffer. Uh, I gotta grab one of these first. Give me the ore. We're gonna worry about upgrading our. Uh, our uh, spirit upgrades back at home a little bit for. Restore 20 health when defeating elite enemies. That's very nice. Dude, I need to prioritize my relics earlier in my runs. Um, um, there's so many nice things. It's, I've got that problem that I haven't had in, in quite a while in New Rogues, right? This is actually a really big compliment to the, to the dev team behind Spiritfall being able to do this. The different things on the map, there are so many different things that I want all at once on the map that it's actually difficult to decide what I want to get at any given time. Like, like, there's genuinely a reason to grab everything. Like, it's all useful. It's all good. There's no... There's no, like, dead air, right? There's no there's no upgrades that aren't really... My god. <laughs> he thought. Uh, there's nothing that's, like, bad. Everything on the map, I want to get all at once. I want dust. I want to go to the shops. I want to get the gems to upgrade my, my basic blessings. I want to get relics. I, I, I want all of it. None of this is bad. Like, normally in some of these games, I can very quickly start to prioritize, all right, this is good, this I don't really need, this I can afford to skip. In this, it's like, I don't want to. In this, I want all of these. And that's not an easy thing to do, like, balance-wise. It's not easy to make everything desirable. I'm very impressed. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was so close. You know what? Just do it. Just it. You suck. <laughs> you suck, you stupid bird. He hits me and then he's like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. Nah. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. You know why? Because you want me to. That's why. Nah, because you want me to. I'm not doing it. Sorry. Nah, mate, not doing it. Nah. I see two Yemphis upgrades ahead of me. Unfortunately, we missed. Rising Taco. Down air. Uh, quick. Pop the defensive shield. Just do it. Oh my god, what a shot! Did you see that, dude? That monkey sniped the crap out of me right there. I'm nervous. I'm just going to sit here for a second with my shield up. That still hits? Okay, cool. I thought because I was in the air, it wouldn't hit me because he does a slam. But I'm like, maybe if I'm in the air, the slam won't. He got eaten? Rising taco. No, don't. Sick. Dude, I'm at full life. How am I healing? How am I? What? How? I, I was getting a hit. Oh, the elite enemies. So wait, 20 life when defeating elite enemies and then healing effects are boost by 25%. Dude, I'm a mortal. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I'm not a mortal, but I am healing a lot. Dude, I like it. Uh, tides of conflict. You deal more damage in a room based on the amount of enemy waves spawned. 12% per spawn. Cool. Not as good against boss fights, right? Which I think is my main issue, is, is the boss fights coming up. Enemies will take more wall splat damage for each stack of drenched. Enemies take bonus shield damage based on how drenched. I want that. If I can break a, a boss's shield a bit quicker. Very handy. Um, Give me one more Yemi. I want to get as much Yemi as I can. No, I was doing Rising Taco. You can't do this. It's illegal. It's literally a rule. You, you're not allowed to interrupt the rising dirt. Get destroyed. Oh, don't go into that. Wet and wild. Splash.
Did he just dodge me? Take that. Dodge this. Oh, I ran towards into it. I thought I could get past it in time. Die. Die. I've discovered the most annoying dude in the room. That guy. All right, Shoreline Drift, you get a random amount of dust whenever you enter a new room. Ah, oh, that would have been great earlier. I'm almost at the end of the run. Uh, the Uncharted Waters, bonus damage for each room cleared in this current region. Isolated enemies with no other enemies nearby receive more damage. Halved against bosses. Okay, so 5% against bosses versus what I say last time, like 9% for Uncharted Waters. I think this one's better. I think. At least in the context of... Ooh. I'll do the rift, please. Yo! No where? Holy cr dude! Okay, sweet Jesus, the the bow is insane for killing that guy. That guy got destroyed. Like holy shit, that guy got damn. Okay, lost at sea. Isolated enemies with no other enemies nearby receive more. Halved against bosses. 10%. It's a 20% on its own. 10%. Wall splat extra. I don't think I can wall splat the warlock. I didn't do any wall splatting last time. Give me the lost at sea. And we get to take the bunny. A rabbit rabbit. Um, Adrenaline rush. You have bonus damage and movement speed for five seconds after slaying an enemy. Not going to help me in moving up. When I'm hit, my cooldowns come off a bit faster. That I can take. Shock absorber is pretty cool. Leave the rift. Go to the shop. I have so much cash. Oh, dude, more yemmy. I love it. Let me heal up real quick. Let me get some yam. I keep saying yam. It's yam. The yams. Um, Deal more damage directly below enemies. I won't be below the warlock. We're on flat surface. Deal more damage in a room based amount of waves. Wall splat. I guess we take the wall splat. I don't think there's anything else I can really benefit there. Um... You gain increased cooldown speed for each active electrified stack. I'm not doing electric because I don't have any any of the rabbit's main boons. Um, multiplier being higher is pretty cool. Increases faster and can't go below 1.1. We'll, we'll take that. Why not? We'll take that. Moving on. It's warlock. No, it's not warlock time. I'm only on the second boss. I'm an idiot. I've been planning for the... Oh my god. I thought I was further ahead than this. You've made it this far impressive, unfortunately. We can't let you advance any further. <gasps> no! Did my... Did my parry actually... Ow! Actually land, though? Oh, dude. Okay, now it definitely did. He does three? I never noticed he did three of those. I tried to stop and go into my guard quick enough and I couldn't. I'm just doing, um, I should have dodge count. I'm trying to cancel into my, my, my cool shield parry move. It does not have those kind of frames. Oh my god, so the initial release also does big damage. Don't get in the way of that. I'm doing all right. The archery guy's nearly dead. I don't want to just hit him though. I'm trying to hit the other. Damn, he's collateral damage and a half, man. This little uh, pokey pokes guy. I can't let him get away with, oh my God. With too much either. That's a new move. Yo, that was fast. 
They're so fast. They're so oh, oh, that went high. Did I get him? Splash. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, okay, okay. Evidently, we're doing better in rooms than we are boss fights. That was that was brutal, dude. Brutal. I was sucking so bad. Now, that actually gave me a lot more life. I think the healing boost from all... It says all effects over here, right? All effects. So I just get 25% more. Man, that's really... Dude, Shabra's buffs are insane. Uh, What do we get over here? Bouncing arrow. Your launcher's projectile bounces off. That's That's nuts. Uh, fully charged launches will always be perfect launches, even if held for an extended... And I charge I, I charge faster as well. Okay, give me all that. 50% more damage to bosses, give me that. I mean, I just want to take all of these, because I'm not going to get to see the next lady until the end anyway. Like, I, I, this is my last time to, to do this, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 give me all of these. Give me all of these. We're going into the last area. Why did I think I was nearly done? I'm stupid. <laughs> Why did I think I was nearly... I'm so stupid. Okay, so I can get some max li double max life into shop. I'm going to end up missing a yammy that way, though. But I don't need the dust. I'm actually pretty good on money right now. We got, we got pretty rich out of nowhere. Rising taco. Into launch. Into, into, into double launch. Into forward. Into another rising taco. Into a side hit. Oh my god. He's schmoovin' on him. He's schmoovin' on him. <laughs> the rooms are, are nuts. I have room for more... Wait, what if I just went and got more relics? I've got room for one more relic. And unless I'm mistaken, one of the achievements I don't have in the game yet... Is actually to get um, four relics. To get, like, loot a relic when you've already got too many relics, right? I think that's one of my achievements I haven't got yet. Dude. You're trying to stop me from getting my rising taco, alright? And, I mean, it's rude, but I don't want to be the guy to tell you how rude that really is to interrupt a man getting the rising taco. He interrupted the ri- Dude? Dude, he's got a sh- Fine, you want to you start throwing shoryus? Forget you. So wait, all of mine are now- wait, they said it's perfect no matter how long you charge it for, so I can just do this. You're insane, and it bounces off walls now too. You're, you're insane. You can't be serious. Crystalline Vessel, Spirit Blessings, you find have a 30% chance to come pre-equipped with a gem. More shield damage and more damage to bosses? Dude. Dude! So, it is, it's perfect every time. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go after Yemi. I'm gonna be that greedy. I'm gonna be that guy. Here, let me just... I've got the angle, son. Splash. Ah, oh, that guy's below me. My basic attacks do have better, like, angle usage. That That is something that I'm noticing, is that, like, the down diagonals and the up diagonals are really handy to, like, just quickly throw out there. And, of course, my grab. This this forward air is, um... This is so <laughs> disgusting. Bouncing a dude to the wall like that feels really nice. Um, Dyad Blades. All damage you deal or take is 40% higher. Uh, it's kind of risky. But I mean, it's it's a lot more damage, right? Like, there's no way this could be bad, right? Especially if I just keep doing this, right? This guy's getting... Dude, he's getting ping-ponged around the... Dude, are you okay? Get it, get it, get it. Rising Taco, are you okay? Come on now, come on now. Someone. Ah! This 
someone out there is, is keeping up with me. That's dude. Okay, the bow the bow is is cruise control for cool kids, all right? It's cruise control for cool kids. Thank God I'm healing off of elite kills, otherwise I might be almost dead by now. Deal more damage in a room based on the amount of, you know what, I may as well take it. I should have taken that dust upgrade ages ago too to get more, but I guess I don't really need it. Uh, we'll go across. I can't get to the other yam, but we can go across and get Shabra probably into healing into shop. Go away. Oh, hang on. This thing needs to die. Uh, the fact that it's bouncing off the walls means even if I shoot and they, like, sidestep me, it'll ricochet back into them. Like, they're getting multi-hit from this, dude. You thought. <laughs> you thought. He's all like, I'll do Blanca Ball. No, you won't. Uh, kill an enemy, get faster, or just 20% more movement speed. I'll get Celerity, please. I love Celery. Let's get some of this. I don't, actually. I'm kind of indifferent to Celery. I don't know anyone who can genuinely say, I love Celery. Do you love Celery? Are you, like, about it about it? Like, are you, like, just a, a big Celery fan? You know? Are you that guy? I don't know anyone who's that guy. That's all. That guy still shot at me? Okay, rudeness out here. Do it. You back of your row? No, come here. Get shot. Get shot. Uh, more ore. Embers, sorry. I keep calling them ore. They look like little, little ore nuggets to me. All right, the Shabra. Unearthed Verve. When you open a relic chest, the heal... Ravaging growth, whenever you cover life gain bonus damage until you hit again. Reduce incoming damage from all sources. This effect doubles when under 15% life. Just 12% less damage taken? God, dude, Shabra. I'm telling you, dude, Shabra is one of the best. If you're just getting into the game, find Shabra, take Shabra. Shabra is just... Oh, dude, Shabra is cruise control for cool kids. 100%. But then again, so is the polar bear, so is Mishved. So was the phoenix, whose name I keep forgetting. It starts with SH. It's like shub sh shub something. Oh my god, that thing died so... Dude. I love the, 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 the attack arc on the bubbles, dude. Look, just... I can just jump and throw splashes and it's gonna hit them. This is silly. <laughs> it's so good. I wonder how tough the warlock fight's gonna be with this. I don't really need to do the heal, but I have the money, so I may as well buy everything, right? Uh, recover life. When you are hit, you deal damage in a small area. 45 damage isn't small damage, dude. I mean, damage in a small area, I guess. Uh, uh, may as well, I guess. And it comes already upgraded. Insane. There we go. We're done. Thank you, little dude. We're out of here. Boss fight time. da 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 when will you finally learn your... When will you learn? When will you learn? <laughs> Is he really hitting me with the Sammy? Dude, he just hit me with the Sammy and then peaced out. He's like, when will you learn? And then leaves me. That's not good. Dude, I still don't know what this ball in the sky do. I can hit it? Wait, I can hit the ball in the sky? Oh, I can destroy it. I mean, I know last time I did see, by the way. Whoa, that's new. Let me get that. That rising taco. I want to get my rising taco in there, dude. 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 
it's very scary. There we go. <laughs> Won't be so lucky next time. Ah, oh, taking like 40% more damage was was risky right there, but we did it. Ah, oh, so, I'm so sorry I went quiet. I was genuinely like, not like this. Not like this. On one hand, I'm like, I could sit back and just fire launcher hits, but juggling him stops him from throwing out attacks. It doesn't stop the skeleton in the background, though. I'm not sure how I could deal with him any better than just keeping an eye on his hands. But going in for combos keeps him from actually fighting me when his shield is broken. And if I sit back and I fire launcher shots, he's not stunned long enough. I think going in for actual fights is better. Ah, and then the, the big bear decides, no, cringe, die. And he blasts me. He blasts me. Look at that. He, Dude, we were pretty good. We had two extra slots for blessings. Can I go over the blessing count? I don't know. I don't know. The bow is kind of vibing. I don't know if I like it more. Oh, it's so weird. I like all these weapons. I, I'm trying to think of what my favorite one is. I like the hammer. The hammer is cool. The gloves are sick. The bow is is kind of insane. I don't know, man. I don't know. After you get hit, you're protected from further damage for a short time. Iframes. When you get hit, slightly adjust your knockback trajectory by aiming your input in the desired direction. We have DI. To be honest, you know that Shabra is going to give the most defensive boosts, and I kind of want Shabra as well. I am kind of doing a lot of air combat, especially with the bow, especially with him, actually all of them. Let me get an air boost. Prismatic bond. Five! Five percent damage for each spirit who's blessing. Oh, so for taking. Okay, so just take every one. That's a pretty big boost. Okay, so I want to get the one in pounce. Bite marks. The final hit in your side attack combo deals more damage at the previous hit in that combo also landed. So just bonus damage if you're doing a full combo. When you have full max health, your essence multiplier increases slightly faster. Your essence multiplier is preserved for an extra second without hitting enemies before starting to decay during combat. I might unlock the DI and the Divine Protection. I want to start getting some Shabra stuff going. What are you? When entering a new room, recover 1% health per visited region. So in the final region... So per visited region, so is that previous? So in the second area I get 1% and in the last area I get 2% per room? I'm not sure. Let me unlock the DI. 25 base max life. See, look at that. Shabra, dude. It's Shabra. Shabra all, all the way every day. I've got five scrolls to spend here for ordinances. You can destroy unwanted relics and gain essence. That's what I'm looking for. I want to be able to sell stuff. Thank you. Undo it. Let's get these two. I mean, I've got enough to buy both of these. So dust in the hallowed ground. And they might also appear in the Viridian Trail. So it has a chance to appear in two different regions. And there you go. A bow run with the power of Yamphus. I'm actually really, really impressed with Waterboy. The, the seahorse is, is nuts. That run ended up killing rooms especially well by the very end. I was kind of going into full, uh, uh, full cruise control in that last region there with the charged up launcher attacks. But you can kind of see earlier on, I was doing like swag combos and trying to do cool air stuff. It's really fun. And then if you don't want to, launcher is there, I guess. Just just do launcher parries. I stopped using my bubble. I don't think I used my bubble once in the boss fight. I'm so stupid. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed some more Spirit 4. Remember to check it out April 3rd. If it's not out already, then wishlist it. If it's out right now, what are you waiting for? Big thanks again to all the dev guys for sending me an extra copy of it so that I could get it out to you. And I will see you all next time. Have a good one.